you seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? None of your business. Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Ah, you return. Shall I deal? Let's play this game of yours.
an interesting round. If you desire a rematch, let me know. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Sing that rhyme again. And you're not to play with Chetty. But Chetty's my best friend. Chetty's a little fool. He gets all killed. What the fuck am I to do? Chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, Dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to serve as their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That's what I think. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. The humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. during the Hungry Gap. They've taken all our grain. Footprints. A 
demands, large. Stinks of piss and vodka. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Quite a hide, Hellraiser. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Me gran told me about the Smith boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witchman that was hunting nearby, started poking him asked him, when he started twisting and squirming, so wham bam, they knocked his head off. I so it's trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner? What the fuck do you care? Whoa. Our arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all. And dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies. Do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen. We can work this out, man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Fine. I'll agree to that, if you swear to stop playing with fire. Fail to do that and I'll come back, and someone will get hurt. Of course, Master Witcher. I swear on me dead mum. Your gold, and here's to your health. Down with the Black Ones and non-humans alike. Boy, fuck off already. Freak. Kings do the fighting, but peasants I know what I know. Elsa bears her rump for the blackens. Little whore. 